Hello friends, I am so thankful that you're here today. We're going to start this video off by doing some spring shopping at Walmart. I was on a mission today to find some new spring pieces to add to my spring collection. I'm going to show you a few pieces that caught my eye here at Walmart. Then we'll go back home. I'll do a quick little haul to show you what all I brought home with me. And then stay to the end so that I can show you how I decorate each piece in my home. The Better Homes and Guard collection at Walmart is just fabulous and just keeps getting better and better. And I'm very excited about this new line called My Texas Home. So many pretty things from her. I really love this style of video when someone shows you shopping and then they show you what they brought home and then they show you how they styled it in their home. It gives you such great ideas. So I love this style of video and I hope you do too. Okay, I'm going to show you just a few more items that caught my eye, and then we'll head home, and I'll show you what I brought home with me. If you happen to be new today, I'm Robin, and welcome to my channel. Okay friends, I'm home from Walmart, so let me show you a few things that I picked up in the store today. I'm also gonna take this opportunity to show you a picture that I got from Hobby Lobby a few weeks back and a few things from Target for my spring decor. So I'll just add that in here just real quickly. So after I show you everything that I've picked up, I'll show you how just the Walmart items that I picked up today, I'll show you how I'm gonna incorporate those into my um, pretty much my living room. Everything I bought today was pretty much for my living room to add a few more spring touches. I think about two weeks ago, I did clean my living room and added some few spring touches. So I'll add that video below in my description box if you missed it. But today, I just wanted to add a few more things to it to kind of complete the look. I've been looking for a basket to go in my fireplace with some blankets and pillows in it. I just love that look. And today I found the one that was just perfect. And I've been trying to practice, guys, quality over quantity this new year. And so I've been trying to pick up some, instead of just picking up a lot of small items that add up to a whole bunch of money, I've just been trying to buy the big ticket items that I really want to go in my home instead of just trying to incorporate all those little things into my home. So I'm saying that because I did pick up a couple of pillows today that were kind of expensive. Okay, so let's get right into the haul, guys, and stay tuned to the end so you'll see where I put all of these pieces in my home. Okay, and bear with me, I'm gonna have my readers on because I have my contacts on today. So I can't see far away very well. So when I have my contacts on, I have to wear what my daughter calls my old lady glasses to see up close. So I've got my Walmart receipt here. So anything I need to double check on to make sure I'm giving you the right price, I'll have to put my glasses on. So bear with me, okay? Okay, let's start with what I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I ran there one day on my lunch hour just because I really wanted to incorporate another picture into either on my hutch or in my living room. So I picked up this gorgeous, uh, and I wanted kind of a rustic feel, um, 
more of a farmhouse rustic feel and I picked up this beautiful picture with this great little bar scene on barn scene on it not bar barn <laughs> but isn't it just gorgeous it has just a touch of gold in it it was $19.99 half off let me show you a little closer to it but when I saw this I knew it was just perfect I may put it in the kitchen because if you saw my kitchen video um, now that I've painted it that dark wood looks really great in my kitchen so this may go on my um, hutch here behind me or do you see that picture that's right above my peg rack this may be a perfect place to put because I'm really gonna try to incorporate some of this dark brown stain into my living room since it goes so well with my new paint color so again here's my new barn scene I just absolutely love it if you can see it love the glare so so pretty and um, you know my taste is kind of coming on I don't really know what my true taste is but I, I love the farmhouse look I don't really like that tin real farmy um, I don't know how to say it I don't really like that all the way farmhouse look but I do like a little modern and farmhouse put together and I feel like this picture was a little bit of both so that's what I picked up from Hobby Lobby now also I think that same day um, no I had to go pick up some tubs from Target and so I just of course walked through the little um, decor section there we don't have a very big decor section we do have a uh, I think three rows of home decor that's got uh, the threshold studio McGee uh, hearth and hand and um, so I try to always when I run into Target just walk down those aisles as if you think catches my eye but in the bath area is where I found these items and I think it's gonna look so wonderful you guys know I love a floral pattern and so when I saw these hand towels hanging uh, at an end cap at the end of one of the aisles, I was like, oh my goodness, aren't those beautiful? Now, I don't bring a lot of color into my living room. I don't bring a lot of color into my bedroom, but I do like a lot of color in my kitchen and in my bathrooms. And I've already done my front bathroom if you missed that, I'll link that below. That particular video, I went ahead and decorated my master bathroom for spring. So it's pretty much completely done. But this, I think these will go in my back bathroom. I don't show that bathroom very often, but I think these will go great in there. And I just love that little print. Let me show you up close. Is that not me or what, guys? If you've been around my channel for some time, you know that I am a sucker for a floral. I just love them. So let's see here. These were these were five dollars. You just cannot beat that. And they're from the threshold lines. So they were five dollars each. And then right below these hand towels was this beautiful candle to match. And oh, I'm all about a candle. And so this is called the Peony Cherry Blossom. Oh my goodness! If we could have smell o vision and look at the pink on the inside. I know it's kind of Valentine's-y, but I think it's also spring because it's got this beautiful floral print on it. Show you this real fast. And of course it's from the threshold line and it goes so well with this little floral towel. How pretty is that? So, so pretty. So that's my thoughts of putting this decor in my back bathroom. So we shall see where it goes, but I think that's gonna be the perfect place for it. So I'll do a video and show you guys that. I'm always in need of cleaning that back bathroom. Okay, so now let's move on to Walmart. And have you guys heard of this My Texas House, let's see, My Texas House line? It's a new line at Walmart. I didn't really see anything else but these uh, aprons uh, at my Walmart. So I don't really know um, if it's kind of like our Target. So they don't have much of a house of the Hearth and Home and of the Studio McGee. Maybe that's how it is at our Walmart. They haven't actually brought out the full line yet, but this is all I could see with her line. But guys, look at these aprons. I showed that on the video. Isn't that gorgeous? And I love this screen. This screen is the perfect color for my kitchen. I just love it. And these were $12.98. I'm not a good ruffle girl. Some of them didn't have ruffles on them and I wish this didn't have a ruffle, but it's still gonna be cute, cute. And I'll show you the pattern in just a second. And where I'm gonna hang this is back on this pegboard back here. I think that's gonna look really good hanging there. So let me show you the little pattern up close, but it's perfect green for my kitchen. And of course you saw in the videos that had different colors. It was really hard for me to decide between them. The light taupe color and this one, I so try to go, uh, or to me, I've been leaning toward neutrals so much. And uh, like I said, in my so this is gonna go in my kitchen. I really wanted to get the green one to add a little bit more color in my kitchen. Okay, so that's the apron I plan on. And just a little Easter decor real quickly. Look at these sweet little 
Look at these sweet little carrots. Aren't they so cute? They were only $1.98 a piece. So I picked up three of them. I like to decorate in thirds. And aren't they so cute? I can see them definitely laying in a little basket, a little bowl on my open shelving back here. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them, but they can pretty much go anywhere in my kitchen. I think they are just adorable. Let me show you a close up real fast. Can you see it? So cute. And they also had some bigger ones. And um, I probably will regret not picking up some of the big ones, some of the bigger ones, but I just went with the small ones today. Okay, now let's get these out of the way. Now we're going to move on to pillows. I have been watching this new channel um, called Simply Sweet Home. Her name is Sarah, and she has the best little channel. She's brand new. Um, and she was showing her spring decorate with me, and she had these little bird pillows. And if you saw my living room decorate with me, I've been adding some birds. I love birds for spring. I have lots of little uh, porcelain birds, wooden birds. So when she showed these neutral colored bird pillows that she got from Walmart, I was like, oh my goodness, I could definitely incorporate those into my living room. So I went and they had them. Um, and aren't they just great? I love the little gray and white, the gray and cream, I guess you could say, not really a white, it's kind of an off-white because gray is in my living room and blues. And I think this is just beautiful. These were $11.97 each and I got two of them. So let me show you up close. These are gonna go in my living room. And I just love that print and they're just solid on the back but aren't they beautiful so pretty so I think I'm gonna try to put one on the bench that's in my living room and then one that's maybe on my chair and a half but I, I'm gonna try to use both of them in my living room so oh you know what the basket I'm about to show you one of these could definitely go in that basket okay so I got two of those pillows. Now the last two pillows that I got were my expensive ones, but oh my goodness, guys, were they worth it or what? Look at these little, I wanna say they're like a hobnob. <laughs> you know, that's very popular on dishes, but they're from the Better Homes and Garden, and these were $24.98, and I bought both of them. Uh, I got two of them, and they're kind of, they're a down pillow, so they're gonna have that really pretty chop to them. I don't find much of those, because they are so expensive, but I went ahead and, whew, the brought me sneeze. <laughs> But they are just beautiful in this cover. There's a zipper so the cover comes off and you can wash them, which I have animals. They don't get on the couches, but things tend to get dirty around here. But let me give you a close up. How gorgeous. See the little, um, the little edging around that. Oh, so pretty. And they almost have like a little black undertone to them. Kind of a... Mm, they almost have like a little black stitching in there, so it makes them even more neutral, but I just love these pillows. And like I said, I got two of them. Now, let me show you the basket that I've been looking for. If you saw my living room video, you saw that I did use a basket with a, a pillow, a little bunny pillow and a blanket when I decorated for spring in the living room. However, that's just not the basket I really wanted to use. I've been really trying to find a bigger basket with a wide mouth, a pretty tall, that'll hold like a couple of pillows and a couple of blankets. I just love that look. They had some at um, Target when I went into Target, but they were so expensive. They were like from $30 to $60, and I wasn't ready to pay for that yet. I really didn't know what I wanted at the time, but I knew that I could maybe find one a little cheaper if I just kept looking, and today was the day. So this were, these were over when I went to get two tubs. I needed some more tubs from Walmart. I went down one of the aisles, and a lot of wicker baskets you saw that in the video were sitting there, and oh my goodness. This one, y'all, I was like, ta-da, this is the perfect basket that I've been looking for. It's from the Better Homes and Garden, and it was $19.99, so very inexpensive. I just love this look, and I also love it. I love the handles on it. Uh, you guys know I just love this rattan look in my living room, but it's perfect to put your two pillows, or two or three pillows, so a couple of blankets, and then you can actually see the blanket without having to put too much on the outside. So I believe this is the perfect basket for my hearth area, so I'm so excited to decorate this for you guys. Okay, now that I've showed you all that I picked up today in my haul, let's get to the fun stuff, decorating. Okay, here's just a quick shot of what my fireplace and my mantle area looks like for spring. Very simple right now, but I'm going to take away that basket that you see there with the blue blanket and the little bunny pillow and put my new blanket and I'm going to try to put two pillows and two blankets here. I'm so excited to try it out. Um, so you'll see that I'll put in two different pillows because I wasn't real sure which one I wanted to use. Of course, I'm going to use the new bird pillow, but if you'll see in a second, I have this really pretty green color 
color pillow with, with a great floral print on it that I really wanted to use in this basket. And then I also had another one of my favorite pillows that has home on it with some little tassels. It's blue. I'm kind of a matchy matchy person. So I felt like um, the home pillow was going to look better with a little bird pillow. But then I thought, let me add a little color over here to the fireplace. So you'll see that I'm going to try out both pillows and I would love to know in the comment section which one you liked better. Okay, so now you've seen the home pillow and you've seen the green pillow. So I'll show you a clip real quickly of the complete look with the blue pillow in it and then a complete look with the green pillow in it and then you can let me know in the comment section which one you liked better. And I don't show it on camera, but um, later on that night, I kind of moved my blankets around so that you can see more of the basket. Because the longer I looked at this little area, I thought, you know, I'm defeating the purpose by not showing that really pretty basket. So I do kind of change that around. And then I'm going to sneak back in my little bunny pillow. When I decorated this mantle a few weeks back, I didn't put any candles inside my candle holders there. And just the longer I've sat with that look, the longer I thought, you know, I probably need to put some little candles to kind of even out the height there. And these candles are, um, they're not real and they're battery operated so they turn on, but I, I didn't have any batteries today. So I'll try to show a clip and a couple more videos where those lit up. They're really super pretty, but I do like it that I've added those um, candles now to those candlesticks to kind of even out um, the height of all the de decor that's on the mantle. Do you do that? Do you look at an area sometimes and just it just annoys you? You're like, I need to tweak something, but I'm not sure what. So that's kind of what I've been doing over the past week looking at that mantle. Now you can see here, I left the home pillow on the fireplace and moved this pretty green pillow over here on top of my bench. And so far, I've really liked it. Okay, now we're going to add our second bird pillow over here to my chair and a half with my ottoman. I thought it went really pretty with that little simple blue throw that I have on there. When I decorated the living room a few weeks back, I really wasn't sure what pillows I wanted to use here on the couch. I knew I wanted to use this home pillow, which is one of my favorite pillows, uh, but I wasn't really sure about my other pillows. So when I was at Walmart and of course saw these pillows, I knew they would look great on my brown couch and also go along with my blue pillow. So I think they look so good here on the couch. And like I said, up close and in person, they kind of have a little black to them. And I love adding a touch of black in any room that I I'm decorating. Okay friends, this is going to be my last item to add today. I sure hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. If you're new to my channel today, I would just love it if you would take a second and leave maybe your name in your, where, maybe where you're from in the comment section and go ahead and hit that red subscribe button before you leave today. I would also love for us to follow each other over on Instagram. You can find me on that platform by searching at Robin Lane Low. I hope I gave you some just simple decorating ideas to do for your living room. Uh, come back next week and we'll be doing some more decorating. Thanks for spending some of your precious time with me, friends, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.